This is um, how to install a kill switch on your lawnmower, part one. And I wanted to show you uh, how these work, and then pull the cord on and show you, and, and so you can see the mower shut off with it. Um, as showed in the earlier video, this this is what happens on these switches. The the engine brake is is now engaged, and this is where the wire connects. You can see, you see a little better on this one. This is where the wire connects. It goes to the ignition coil. So anytime the spring has been removed from this one, there's your spring. The spring was here. I've taken it off so you can see how this moves. And this is what kills the mower when this when this touches right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's going to kill the mower. So what you want to do is connect a weaker spring to this so your mower is always running until you pull it and, and engage that, that little point right there which goes to ignition coil and kills it, grounds it out. So that's, that's what's been done here. Here's what the switch looks like on this mower. I've removed this spring you got to take some wire pliers. It's best to do it on the mower, but take the blower housing cover off and then get some pliers on either this end or this end and get that spring off of there. And then, of course, then you'd move this cable by squeezing uh, this with some pliers and then, and then back it out this way. So just remove this cable. So all you're left with is this switch. And the brake no longer really plays a part. It's just you're taking the spark away from the engine. So I hope that makes sense. You got to remove this spring, remove this cable, reinstall this, and you're left with this kind of a setup, which is a spring, just a household spring. You can order them off. I got a bag of these for like two bucks, twenty or thirty of them. And then, so this mower is ready to run, and it's going to run until I shut it off by doing that, and that's going to kill the engine because up in here. That little point I showed you earlier is now going to touch the, uh, the, the, the wire that connects the ignition coil. So it's running. It's going to run all the time until I shut it off like that. When the mower shuts off, then I just let go and the spring brings it back. So let me show you how that works. And you want to do this on a mower that you're trying to, you don't want to spend a lot of money on. I paid $20 for this mower. So I don't want to go out now and spend twenty dollars just to replace this cable and switch. I'm going to work with what I have and install my own kill switch. So here we go. One, two, That's how it works. You pull this and it's going to engage up here and, and shut it off. So this allows you to you know, mow and go and pick up a limb or uh, move a rock or pick up a toy without having to then come back and uh, crank the mower again with the pull cord. Uh, you can just come, come back, the mower will be running until you shut it off by using this kill switch.